In today's class, we're going to be going over soft principle number four. It's the principle of using circles to attack. Also, leaking or slipping. So slipping through someone's defense. Slipping palm. That one is follows along with uh, principle number four. So the concept of just using a circle, that's really what it is. When you do millstone palm, that's a circle, especially when you wipe underneath and go around to plum blossom palm. When you're wiping around, circling around, that's using that circle. And so it's the same thing. Principle number four. Allied Choi is in there as well. And there's big circles, there are small circles. You can use them for offense or defense. Just a concept of using circles or leaking in or slipping in. In Sifi Hughes' notes, he wrote down, using their block or strike, you rebound or borrow their energy to attack them. And then he also put down, every time we get hit by Sifu, meaning Sigong Fog, he says that you did it to yourself. Water real quick, and then we'll go over uh, the techniques of soft principle number four. Now there are gonna be translations, differences in translation. Li Gam Wing, his translation is slightly different. The Wong Hum Fun side of the family is gonna be slightly different. So my interpretations are gonna be more based on the Wong Hum Fun side. So the example techniques is millstone palm, plum bossing palm. First one, millstone palm here, ashy blocks. I'm gonna wipe underneath and I'm gonna use that hand to circle around and to strike. So one, two, three, and strike. So it's this circling move right over here that's part of that principle of, of number four. All right, and then the next one, sleeping palm. You guys know that one, sleeping palm here. You're just clearing and striking. You got this little circle going on. And then there's, well, ally choy, there's that circle as well. Let's see, oh, here's a good one. It's a small one, it's white snake sp uh, sp spits out tongue. So when we grab, when you see this move here, either we go forward or you go backwards. Um, a lot of them, there's this downward feng sao, this small block, so it's an inside block and that's a circle. So you're gonna circle and strike. So circle, either go backwards, circle, go forward. So from here, forward or backwards, but it's this downward block that circling downward block that's part of that principle as well. So avoiding a chi na. So if she decides to go grab, if I continue along and grab that way, there's that circle as well. So if I'm grabbing her, then she's gonna circle all the way around and go on top and using that small circle, feeling the energy going around and downward block. So if she grabs, then I'm gonna circle all the way around again here. So I'm trying to go along with the energy and then using that circle to evade it, and then also to use that as the grab. Also, one of our favorite ones, Ah Lao Choi, Hing Choi, Feng Choi. There's a lot of techniques in that one. So let's go right forward. We'll work on, first technique is Millstone Palm, Plum Blossom Palm, all right? And we'll go ahead and add a step slide to that as well. So one, two, so two step slides. We'll go forward, one, and two. Yat E. Try to make your footwork faster as well. Yat E. E. Yat E. Good, let's go two more. Yat E. That's it, last one. Yat E. All right, nice. Next one, we'll go slipping palm. Easy enough, just here, slip, slip, slip. So getting ready, you can go forward or backward, doesn't matter, seven. Nine and ten. Next one, uh, 14 road number nine. I was like, wait a minute, isn't that the same one as last time? Yes, different principle. It's chow choy, but this time when you clear, you're using this circle here to strike. So now almost like a two sow here and sneaking in, slipping through and then striking. So let me borrow you there, Sean. So from here, as she does that upper block, then all I'm gonna do is clear, but this arm's in the way, and I'm just gonna slide in and sneak in, essentially. It's that sneaking in part that is the technique, okay? 
So let's give that a try. Chow choy and drilling fish. And think of that circle and also sneaking in through the arm. So getting ready. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good. Next one that we'll do is white snake spits out tongue. So if we're out here, let's say we're in a chisao situation, or if I'm on the inside, and then I would circle around, grab, and then strike over here, or just grab, pull, and then I'm striking with the other arm over here. But it's this circle here that I'm using. Just whoop and pulling, or from the outside and pulling. All right, so let's go right foot forward, and we're just gonna go inside that circle block and punch forward and back set. So grab and punch. All right, so getting ready. Eight, nine, and 10. It's exactly like when we do just the grab and punch going this way, outside block and punch. It's just that now we're doing an inside. So there's a slightly different variation of it. So some mantis families, they'll do the inside block and punch. League on wing side tends to do just a regular grab and punch but then different forms will also do different things too. What techniques did you find in Yaoling? Would the Talambosa count? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Those small circles, yes, absolutely. The Talambosa isn't necessarily only a defense too. It could easily be turned into an arm bar. So there's that circle, and then now it's an arm bar too. The first, the three, um... Yield, yep, there you go. So you're yielding, you're doing that circle, and then you strike, yeah, definitely. Great job there, Hunter. How about the roundhouse? When you turn and roundhouse is circular and you're hitting somebody. You're talking about the roundhouse kick? kick? No, when you turn and roundhouse kick. Oh, the outside the outside, kick. Kick. <laughs> outside, outside, yeah, outside kick. <laughs> Okay, so this one's a cool one because Sifu Hughes actually wrote in his notebook, Sean, if I can borrow you for a second. Um, it says that if someone pushes your shoulder, you go along with the energy and then you do the outside crescent kick. So if I'm over here and I'm facing this way and she decides to push my shoulder right over here and I'm going to go along with it and I'm just going to turn around and kick as well. Um, so yes, you're going with the energy, but you're also using that circle to strike. So yes doing the circular for the outside crest kick, that is absolutely correct. Nice. This move, we talked about it, you grab and punch. Yep, at the grab punch. End. So especially at the last last road, um, normally it's an outward, but if you add the inside block and then strike, yep, you got that little tiny circle going there as well. Hing Choi. Hing Choi, absolutely. What does Hing Choi mean? Circling punch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, Myra brought up um, clicking Yeah. Oh, okay. As a defense, you're using your circles. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Nice. That's it, Myra. The um, back fist, because you're of going course. like circling like that. Okay. Mm hmm. So checking that arm out of the way, circling and then striking, or just leaking through and striking. Definitely. Mm hmm. What, what about the. What about the. Oh, sorry, man. Go ahead. Don't worry, uh, talk over, doesn't matter. How about what reverse about... punch? Sorry. Reverse Sorry. punch? Yeah. Two south? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, I I'm glad. This is better. I, I like when you guys are trying to talk over each other, give answers. <laughs> yep, so you got this little circle over here. Two, and then punch. There you go. What else? Any other techniques that you guys were able to? Circle punch. Which one? At the beginning, after the three circle and punch. Why do you have a shovel in your hand, Hunter? <laughs> 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 okay.